What is the difference between crows and ravens? Blackbirds swirling in the sky are hardly ever a welcome sight. Both crows and ravens have deep-rooted appearances, behaviors, and symbolism that cast them as the proverbial bad guys in most narratives. From their fondness for garbage to their association with death, these dark birds are perpetually linked to dark tidings and general spookiness. With these birds' obvious similarities, few people can actually discern between the two. That's where the following video comes in, as we explore everything there is to know about crows and ravens, including the differences between them. Let's get started. Crow 101 Crows are a group of birds that belong to the Corvus genus under the Corvid family. About 34 of the 46 Corvus species are taxonomically classified as crows. In fact, the term is often used to refer to any Corvus bird. However, the general rule in ornithology is that crow refers to the medium to smaller species in Corvus. Crows are highly adaptable birds, as proven by their global distribution. From the Cape of South Africa to the beaches of the Sea of Azov in Eastern Europe, crows are found wherever human beings are present. Different places in the world have their own variations of crows, especially adapted for their environment. However, the basics are pretty much the same. A wholly or almost entirely black bird with a taste for trouble. In the New World, there is the American crow, Corvus brachyrhynchos, that shadows towns and cities all over the United States, southern Canada, and Mexico. The Tamalipas crow, Corvus imperatus, is also a common sight along the Gulf of Mexico coast. In Hawaii, there is Corvus hawaiiensis, also known as the Hawaiian crow, while the Jamaican crow, Corvus jamaicensis, enjoys the island vibes of the Caribbean. There are even more crows in the Old World. The house crow, Corvus splendens of Asia and parts of Africa is a notable example, as is the hooded crow, Corvus cornix of Europe and the Middle East. We also can't forget the pea crow, Corvus albus, arguably the most populous bird in all of Africa. Crows and other Corvus birds are in the passeri forms order. The term is derived from Latin, where passer means sparrow, while forms means shaped like. Crows and their cousins are perching birds with four toes on each foot, oriented for perching three toes point forward, while the fourth points backward, allowing the birds to hold onto a perch. Ornithologists call this toe arrangement anisodactyl. The American crow, the most common crow species in the New World, has a bill-to-tail length of about 16 to 20 inches. The tail makes up half of that body length. Weight ranges considerably, from 11 to 21 ounces, with males occupying the upper end of that spectrum. All crows are renowned for their intelligence and adaptability. They are omnivorous, meaning they eat pretty much most of the things humans eat. They are equally opportunistic and will hardly ever say no to a free meal. Unfortunately, crows' cunning and eat anything approach has earned them a bad reputation as ratty scavengers and even pests. Not only do crows quickly form flocks, but these flocks can run rampant and cause trouble. Typical activity ranges from raiding and tipping over garbage cans to spreading the said garbage around and even leaving disease spreading poop wherever they choose. Flocks of crows are also notoriously loud and with enough numbers, they can easily ruin a board meeting or class test with their incessant calls. Crows have also been the bane of farmers since time immemorial. They raid crops like corn, and with sufficient numbers, they can significantly reduce harvest yields, if not wipe them out altogether. These naughty birds are the precise reason behind the invention of the scarecrow. In many cultures, crows play symbolic and even mythological roles. Civilizations such as ancient Greece and Viking Scandinavia regarded them as the manifestations of major deities like Apollo or Odin. In ancient Egypt, crows were symbols of love and faithfulness likely because crows tend to mate for life. Several other pagan cultures regarded them as omens of good fortune. Crows also have negative supernatural links. Several cultures view crows as signs of bad luck, poor harvests, and impending death or destruction. It's no surprise that a group of crows is called a murder. Crow 
Ravens 101. Ravens are perpetually linked to and mistaken for crows, and for good reason. For starters, ravens also fall under the Corvus genus, which is a recipe for confusion. In fact, along with rooks, ravens make up the rest of the species under the genus. There is only one rook species, Corvus frugilagus. As for the raven species, there are several. There are nine distinct species around today, distributed all over the world, and some of them have several subspecies. Paleontologists have officially recognized three extinct species. Of the species still around, we have the common raven, Corvus corax, forest raven, Corvus tasmanicus, thick-billed raven, Corvus crassirostris, Chihuahuan raven, Corvus cryptoleucus, among others. Ravens are generally larger than crows, which is why taxonomists keep the two birds in the same genus. Rooks are similar to crows in size. The common raven, which is the most widespread corvus bird in the world, is found all over the northern hemisphere, from Hawaii to Siberia. There are eight recognized subspecies, each perfectly adapted for its native region. On average, common ravens range from 21 to 28 inches from bill to tail. Weight ranges between 1.5 and just under 5 pounds. These numbers make ravens both the largest corvus birds and some of the largest birds in the passeriformes order. Ravens are also wholly or mostly black, a trait that contributes to their reputation. Like crows, ravens are perch birds with anisodactyl toes. They spend most of their time perched and scanning for opportunities and threats. Ravens are incredibly adaptable and unbelievably smart. Research into raven intelligence is ongoing, but it's clear that they possess strong cognitive and memory skills. Studies have shown that a four-month-old raven has almost full cognitive function, and mature birds have IQs similar to, and sometimes greater than, apes like chimpanzees and orangutans. Like crows, ravens are omnivorous and incredibly opportunistic when it comes to food. They will raid garbage cans and unattended lunchboxes, or even come into the kitchen to see what's cooking. Ravens will also enter open chicken enclosures and kill chicks for a quick snack or even dig into an exposed carcass. Historically, ravens and crows are noted for intelligently following armies headed for battle because they knew a human clash led to a feast. In fact, Game of Thrones author George R. R. Martin has a popular book called A Feast for Crows in reference to this very concept. Ravens also go after crops. These clever birds will figure out that a scarecrow is harmless, and soon even more ravens will show up to raid. A group of ravens also has a name with a negative connotation and unkindness. Human cultures throughout history have linked ravens to the supernatural. Pagan cultures, particularly in the West, have long associated them with death. Ravens are often depicted as harbingers or omens of death, symbols of death itself like the Grim Reaper, or even as the cause of death. Adding ravens to a cemetery is a popular trick among directors of cheap horror flicks. How are crows and ravens different? So, what are the differences between these two birds? The main difference is size ravens are bigger than crows. The upper body length and weight ranges of the American crow are on or below the lower ranges of the common raven. The size difference also leads to differences in flying styles. Crows are lighter and more susceptible to being swept up and away by strong drafts. As such, they tend to fly and flap a lot. Ravens are heavier and less manipulable by the elements. Ravens can surf on thermal drafts with greater control than crows. As a result, they can fly higher and soar without flapping as much as their cousins. Ravens generally have thicker beaks than crows. The common raven and the aptly named thick-billed raven have significantly larger beaks than any crow. A raven's beak curvature is also much more pronounced. Calls are another difference. Crows tend to make clear, middle to high-pitched caw, or similar sounding calls. Different crow species have different calls, but they generally fit this description. In contrast, ravens produce gurgly, lower-pitched croaking sounds akin to bullfrogs. With a bit of experience, you can even tell the difference between crows and ravens by the look of their wings. Ravens have slender, elongated, and pointy wings, 
whereas crows have shorter, wider wings with more rounded wingtips. Additionally, you'll find that crows flap their wings with much greater frequency than soaring ravens. When observing the two at close range, you will find that ravens have shaggier neck feathers than crows. Tail feathers are another way to tell. Ravens have wedge-shaped tails, which is very different from the crow's more rounded tail feathers. Sociability is another difference. Ravens are more likely to travel in pairs than in unkindnesses. So, if you see a pair of fairly large black birds, there's a good chance you're looking at ravens. Crows do travel in pairs too, but are much more likely to move as part of a murder, especially when foraging for food. If you live on the east coast of the United States, you're more likely to encounter American crows than common ravens. Raven numbers are more concentrated from the Midwest to the West Coast.